Are the limitations of a single life getting you down? Do you wish you were less accident-prone? Do you long for a second chance? If you answered affirmative to the above questions, then you're in luck. Introducing Ross AI Revive 1.2, the latest script from Ross Studios. Get your human player to implement this script and enjoy endless respawns. Take this group of AI for example. Here they are setting out on what appears to be a routine patrol. Let's watch for a moment. As you can see, their human implemented the Ross AI respawn script. And there they go. Living their next life to its full. Don't accept the limitations of a single life. Act now. Insist on Ross AI Revive, it will change your lives. Available at a Steam Workshop near you. I'm not going to take you through six little scenarios, <clears throat> excuse me, six little scenarios that I've made to demonstrate the respawn process. So over here on the right, we have uh, a, a little enemy group and some civilians. Enemy group is going to be using loadouts that are stored in the Rus respawn folder. It's going to spawn at the East, East spawn and East patrol is going to patrol at. So if I look at these units, you can see uh, these are just vanilla units to Edit loadouts, you simply right click here, go edit loadout, uh, customize your loadout. I'll use random just, just for fun. Actually, not a good idea. This could take a while. Find something that looks remotely functional. Okay, so export this. That copies it to the clipboard. Go to your default script editor, paste it in. Make one modification to the file. Just put in params. Put in unit and then change the magic, magic variable from this to unit. And then save the file. Place the file into your mission folder. Um, in this case, my mission is called Rust AI Respawn Demo. The folder that you need to copy to your mission is Ross AI Respawn, and your loadouts will be in there. You can see there are 10 loadouts that I've saved. There's a README file, which no one obviously will read. Uh, then there's the AI Respawn init file, which allows you to config the respawn system. And as I said, you drop your loadout file in here. You can name the loadout files whatever you want, as long as you specify those files in the ROS AI respawn init file over here. Just add them, just add them in or change the names and, or whatever. These files get loaded sequentially onto the units. Um, so it's very quick and easy. Got four units, it'll use the first four. If you don't want to use loadouts that come that are stored, well then you know in the editor you would just simply instead of instead of saying true you just say false in which case however you dress them up in the editor will be retained in subsequent respawns okay so these guys are going to respawn in this little town civilians will walk around the civilian is going to be me when i demo this little process just now so i don't get shot okay then there's a boat so you've got a boat patrol here we've got a group of ai in the boat 
uh, spawning at boat spawn and patrolling around boat patrol using existing loadouts in the, from the editor. Um, so look at the map. The spawn point is on this marker. You notice the marker is pointing in this direction. That will be the direction the boat needs to, to point. The reason I've done that is because it's next to the dock, so I want him to face that way. So put him parallel to the dock. Put your boat down. Make sure he's parallel to the dock as well. Don't put the spawn too close to the dock uh, or wherever you place it because it might collide. So he will go out to the patrol point, patrol, get destroyed, respawn, come back. Okay, as far as the plane is concerned, here we have a plane that's going to take off, patrol, get shot down, and then respawn. When you do this, you obviously the, the plane has got to take off, so you need to put the spawn point on the beginning of a runway. Point the marker in the direction of the runway center by holding shift and dragging a line in the direction you want the, you'll see the little V or diamond shape. That's pointing down the middle of the runway. Then obviously put your plane kind of on there and also align it to the middle of the runway. So now this plane will take off, go to the patrol point, move through the waypoints and so on. And then eventually respawn here if it gets shot down. Respawn three times and then it will complete its function. Next we have a helicopter insertion. We have um, two groups in this chopper. We've got a, a pilot and his co-pilot or gunner. And then we've got a recon group made up of uh, six units. This helicopter is going to fly in over here to transport unload waypoint. Going to unload the separate group in the chopper. The recon group is going to get out. The chopper will only take off when the next waypoint becomes completed or is completed and that will only complete when this condition is true count crew heli one equals two in other words when the crew of this helicopter is when it count when you count up the number of crew it'll equal two meaning the original crew are left the pilot and co-pilot the rest of the guys are out that waypoint will complete the helicopter will fly over there and then land and they will get out in the meantime, this patrol group will start the patrol from this point. And what you need to do in the instance like we have here, where we have two groups in the chopper, one being inserted, the one group is going to be respawning. So give it a, in this case, I gave it a get out waypoint. You could have had a move waypoint. It makes no difference. And in there, you put your command line for that unit. And uh, in this case, it uses the magic variable this, and you can see that uh, if you look at the on activation hint, it says this equals group leader. So that'll be the group leader, spawn three times, wait 10 seconds per spawn, spawn at that position, and move to that position. So they'll get out, move to the patrol point, patrol around there, get killed, respawn back at this position which is in the tree so obviously if you're going to put a spawn point down you shouldn't do what i'm doing here i'm just doing this for demo purposes you should put the spawn point in a, a nice concealed area preferably and most important well actually not preferably most importantly that the ai can get from the spawn point to the patrol point in other words if you put the spawn point inside a building that has got a bad path lod then the units are going to get um stuck and that will kind of defeat the point so make sure that you test it beforehand and place the spawn point a reasonable distance away from the patrol point okay and now the fifth one which is a vehicle patrol uh, here we have a whole lot of units in a hammock the driver of this vehicle is part of the group so he has the command on him it's very important that you put the the group leader into the driver position if you want a vehicle to patrol in this case, it uses a magic variable, which refers to the team leader, going to spawn at West Spawn 1, which is underneath the truck, and West, go to West Patrol 1. Okay, I'll move the West Patrol 1. I'll just move it a little bit out of the way so that the heli insertion guys, when they patrol, this vehicle is not going to run over them, hopefully. 
it obviously, as I said with markers, make sure they point in the right direction, the, the direction you want the vehicle to spawn in. It's very important. And that you put, if you're doing a vehicle or patrol, make sure that the unit, um, the group leader, is the driver of the vehicle because waypointing is quite complex. Uh, it use, you know, there's a thing called an effective commander. So the effective commander of a vehicle could actually be, could be the commander, or it could be the gunner, could be the driver. And so make sure that you put the command line in the group leader in all cases, and make sure the group leader is the driver. If the vehicle is not destroyed when the units get destroyed, so let's say this vehicle's driving along and uh, the units jump out and they all get killed, but the vehicle is in good condition, then I've decided that the only real solution to that is to actually delete the vehicle at the time the last unit of the group gets destroyed. And the reason for that is because otherwise you may have a, a vehicle traveling quite a long distance from the initial spawn point to the patrol point. And if they now are on foot, that whole uh, process could affect the way your mission functions. And so the only solution to that would be to, to make sure that the vehicle that they spawned in spawns in when they spawn in. So um, it's modifiable in the script, but it's, uh, I'd suggest that that's the, the best method of doing it. So I'm now going to quickly show you each one of these happening, and I'll just kill a few people. Uh, AI are not going to be unha unhappy because they have more than one life. Some choppers coming in to do some searching. Those guys are moving to the patrol point, the center of the patrol position, or the patrol area. The speed is up. The plane's taken off and it's starting to patrol. pause for a random period of time at each waypoint. Right. They're going to spawn over there under that those olive trees. There they come. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Gonna spawn in there. Form staggered column to one hundred meters from okay, now to find the plane. if I had a decent sight. There we are, got him. Okay, so I'm going to teleport to the end of the runway. Jump to the docks. There's the boat. Speed it up.
Right will respawn, then populate the crew. Those are just default loadouts. Yeah, so they'll go out on their patrol. Okay, now we can find the little town. Okay, so these are loading custom loadouts from loadout files. You can see a couple of civilians starting to emerge. There must be some kind of a seminar on because they're all hell of a well dressed. Kill this guy. Seconds. Rate points are randomized every time they respawn. So they'll choose different paths, different distances from waypoints, and so on. Form staggered column. All right, so that's the way it works. And thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate your support. So if you think I deserve it, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps me build uh, audience and makes it worthwhile for me. Uh, there's a lot more content coming in the next month, a lot more scripts. So I hopefully will see you next time. Cheers for now. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.